my visors. I'm reaching around for my visor so I can close it, but it's actually I, I cleaned it recently, so it <laughs> it was already closed. I just didn't think it was closed because I could see so clearly. Uh, hey guys, I'm 13 here. Uh, a couple of topics. I think uh, what am I gonna? Call? I think I'm gonna call this video. What's it like riding in the most densely populated country on the planet? Uh, although this isn't the most uh, densely populated c country on the planet, it is the second. So, you know, it should be pretty close to this, because it's second. It's pretty close. Uh, and this is what it's like 90% of the time, especially for me. I, 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 I avoid the cities, but I've got other videos where I'm riding in the city, and even then it's not that bad. Um, yeah, Taiwan is the second most densely populated country on the planet Earth, uh, second only to India. But the crazy thing is, is that uh, I do uh, an 11-day tour of the, of the country, and on that 11 days, for the majority of the time, the traffic is equivalent to what you're seeing right now. In other words, nothing. Because, uh, yeah, we, we, I, I, I take roads that are more uh, country roads and back roads, and, and in doing so, there's no traffic. <laughs> like, look at this. Ooh, look at me. I'm in, I'm in the second most densely populated country in the world. Isn't this? Look at all the people. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. Like, I could go in this direction for, well, about 20 minutes, and I'd, then I'd be in the ocean. Well, no, about 30 minutes, and then I'd hit the ocean. But uh, once I hit the ocean, I could just hang a left or a right, and then I could ride for, uh, well, if I had a right, <laughs> it's a small country. <laughs> I could hang a left, and then I could ride for hours and hours, probably like uh, four or five hours, and it would still look like this. So I could go 30 minutes in this direction like this, then I hang a left and go for hours, <laughs> and it would just continue to be me riding by myself, talking to myself with nothing on the road. And this is like smooth nicely paved roads you got street lights you got everything marked out you got oh, these, these white lines on the road they're bumps to let you know that there's a corner coming up in case you're drunk and you're not paying too much attention <laughs> yeah so oh I'll, I'll tell you guys a story that's on topic uh, I might actually title the video after this story I am a professional tour guide I've been giving tours for about eight years now um, I once punched one of my customers so hard that he quit the tour. <laughs> Not something I should be admitting as a tour guide, but it happened years ago and hopefully he doesn't watch my videos anymore, so uh, I'm going to tell you the story. I was mentioning the fact that Taiwan is the second most densely populated country in the world, and one of my customers who had already, like, okay, so the specifics don't matter, let's just say this. Imagine you're on a tour, and the tour guide is giving a speech to the group, and then you got one guy in the group who tries to correct the tour guide, not once, but multiple times. Like the tour guide, like you're in a bus, and the tour guide is one of those, the tours of New York or whatever, and then there's one guy on the bus, just one, who says, yeah, I don't think that's right, I think this is, yeah, I don't think well, your, the last thing you said is correct, I, I gotta Google that, like, multiple times, and that's what he did, he, I, I said it was his second most unseat, second, and then he says, yeah, that's, that, that can't be right. And I'm like, well, it is. Google it. So he Googled it, and he goes, see, I'm right. It's actually like eighth. And I'm like, okay, well, you're counting places like the Vatican. Like, the, Va the Vatican is its own country, so technically it's more densely populated, but the place is only like a few miles wide. And then there's a couple other, like, uh, city countries that... If you, if you include those in the mix, then it's not second. But if you count proper countries, then it's second. So I showed him that, in fact, it is right. And then I gave him a little, like, punch in the shoulder, because he's a guy and I'm a guy, and he just tried to embarrass me while I was doing my job. So I, and I, you know, corrected him, and I thought we were friends, so I just gave him a little punch in the shoulder. I didn't try to hurt him. It wasn't a hard punch. So... After giving him that little punch, he responded with, uh, you hit like a girl. And I was like, dude, like, in, in front of everyone, too. Like, you know, he didn't whisper it to me. He didn't take me aside and say I hit like a girl. He said it in front of seven other guys whose respect I'm trying to uh, keep. So I'm like, dude, I wasn't, you know, trying to hurt you. But now that you've 
insulted me, well, he, he, now I'll, I'll try to, you know, prove to you that I don't, in fact, hit like a girl. And even though I'm not a very big guy, I actually, you know, I, I, I can throw a punch. So, so I, you know, I, I visualize a point a few inches past his actual shoulder, and then I pull back my fist, and I pivot my body and put my weight into it, and I hit with as much speed as possible, aiming for a point about two inches past his shoulder, and I punch him. And then he, then, and so then he says, oh, well, that was too hard. Now I have to hit you one back. Do, 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 do you realize how pathetic this situation is? How much it's dragging on? It was just like, hey dude, what you said is wrong. And I'm like, I googled it. No, in fact, I'm right. Give him a little jab in the shoulder. Oh, you hit like a girl. Oh, actually I don't. Here, I'll, let me show you. So I give him a harder punch. Oh, that was too hard. Now I have to hit you back. And I'm like, fine dude, here's my shoulder. Hit me back. So he does. He, he gives me a good thump in the shoulder and then uh, and then uh, and then I, I forgot about it like I'm busy I'm giving a tour it's I'm not gonna dwell on it I, I honest I honestly wasn't upset I wasn't uh, uh, like I I literally had completely forgotten about the situation like an hour probably like thir uh, probably like 20 minutes later I'd probably stop thinking about it but uh, like Th about two or three hours later, he walks up to me and he says, does your arm hurt? <laughs> and I have absolutely no idea what he's talking about. It'd be like if somebody, it'd be like if you were at work, or one of your co-workers just randomly walked up to you and said, does your arm hurt? That's as, as much s uh, sense or logic that I, as I can make out of the question. Like, I, it, I had no idea what he was talking about. So I'm like, my arm? No? Why? And he's like, oh, nothing, nothing, and he walked away. And then I was like, I was trying to figure out, why would somebody just randomly ask me, does my armor? And then I remembered the situation earlier that day, and I was like, oh, he's asking me if my arm hurts from him hitting it. Oh, that means his arm still hurts three hours later from me punching him. <laughs> and I'm like, I was proud of myself. I'm like, that's pretty good. Three hours later, he's still in pain. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, and then the next morning he quit the tour. And by that time, we were at the most southern point of Taiwan. We, we'd literally traversed the entire country from the north to the south and we're at the southernmost point. So he made up so many different excuses on why he wanted to quit. And every excuse I found a solution to. He said, oh, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't like my, the person who I shared a room with. And I'm like, okay, well, you won't share a room with them again. Oh, well, I don't like my vehicle. Okay, well, I'll find someone who wants to trade vehicles with you. And I went up to someone and said, you know, like, it's not a problem. I'm like, I'll get you a new vehicle. You don't like your roommate? I'll get you a new roommate. You don't like your vehicle? I'll get you a new vehicle. Like, it's my job to make sure people are uh, uh, happy when I'm not punching them. So, so yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll find, we'll fix whatever problem you have. And then, uh, so finally he just said, no, I just, I just want to ride by myself. I, you know, when I'm riding with the group, it's too slow. And I'm like, oh, well, there's no, nothing really I can do to fix that because safety is, safety is a priority and we're not going to, we're already doing on average, uh, 30 40 percent over the speed limit so I can't go much quicker than that so yeah so the next morning he leaves the tour and uh, three hours later I get a phone call from the police saying that he'd crashed and uh, he was fine bike was a bit scratched up but he was fine and then this is this is this is this blows my mind too I said to him okay you want to leave you want to head back um, okay you should spend a night or two here because we're, we're at the southernmost point of Taiwan which is like in the top three most beautiful places in Taiwan so you should spend a night or two here and appreciate the beauty and he's like no I want to get back right away and I'm like okay well you want to leave right away you want to get away from us okay fine um, but you should on the way back you need need to go here because this is the number one most beautiful place in all of Taiwan and you're gonna ride right past it on your way back on the route you're taking so you should stop off there and spend it you know like an, a morning or an afternoon or a day at the most beautiful point so what does he do he doesn't even visit the most beautiful place in Taiwan he rides right past it and it's literally it's literally just to his left like he would have to hang a left and five minutes down the road he'd be at the most beautiful place in all of Taiwan and he just stayed on the road and didn't make the left and rode right past it 
and he went all the way back to his, his starting point, which was a hotel near the airport, and then sat in the hotel near the airport for the next week while the rest of us toured the island and spent, like swimming in tropical beaches and whatnot. So yeah, that's, I don't know, he's probably, <laughs> I, I've had, I don't know, I've had a hundred, I've had about a hundred and, 130 guests so far to my tour, and out of the 130, I think I've had three that have had a bad time, and he's, he's one of the three. So yeah, that's an M13 bedtime story. That's, uh, I, I wasn't planning on telling that story. I was, gonna, I was just gonna talk about how, the fact that this is the second most densely populated country in the world, and I'm, I've been riding now for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and we've barely seen any other vehicles. Oops. Okay, that's the end of this video.